Hey, what's up guys, you're watching Spencer Apple and it's good to be back and I'm here with a full review slash comparison with Windows 10 versus OS 10 Yosemite. Now to be honest, Windows 10 is a really really good upgrade. It's something that is worth to upgrade from when you are, for example, from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 and I do prefer it overall better than Windows 8.1 because Windows 8.1 was like one of the worst operating systems I've ever tested because it was so tablet friendly, it wasn't actually uh, mouse and keyboard friendly uh, but finally a Windows 10 are here Audio Jungle I've been using OS X as my daily computer since last year, actually a year ago I bought my MacBook Pro with OS X Mavericks and then I had upgraded to Yosemite somewhere in October and uh, yeah. Now before upgrading to Windows 10 I had Windows 7 Home Premium, I'm not sure for the name but uh, Windows 7 was a really good system nice UI and stuff like that, so that was great, I really loved it. Now in Windows 10 you get slightly, completely different user interface, but also familiar. The start menu is now re has returned to Windows 10, so we have the classic look of start menu, plus a little bit of Windows 8 stuff. I really like these like Windows 8 features on the start menu, which looks pretty nice, I started using them like I have some widgets there which I really like uh, this time I'm really glad that the star menu is back and it looks pretty nice nice fresh look and actually you can customize that you can customize the color the theme of your computer so it looks pretty nice something which is pretty amazing on Windows 10 is that you have something like the notification center on the Mac that's action center so you get all your notifications system updates like Twitter things every update and like notification you get on your computer goes out there and also you get some quick toggle like the uh, Wi-Fi and there's also even a tablet mode so from there you can actually if you have a tablet you can switch to that and continue using Windows like a tablet. That's one of my favorite features on Windows 10. Like, you have the option to choose if you are using a desktop or a tablet. Windows 10 brings multiple desktops. Something which I hate on Windows 10 is that when you have multiple desktops, you can't change the wallpaper in one of the new desktops, where on the Mac, you can do this, which is pretty amazing. And something which I really like about the Mac, that I don't like on Windows is that I can bring applications in full screen on my Mac instead of Windows which you have to like bring it into the tablet mode. In the tablet mode, it has the start menu on the bottom, something like the taskbar at the bottom. So yeah, it's not completely full screen. Now Cortana has been added to Windows 10. Currently it doesn't work in Cyprus or any other country out the US, which is uh, something bad. I really wanted to use Cortana on my PC, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So I had to choose like my region to United States, but doesn't seem to work. I don't know what happens, but yeah. Now, good news for you Xbox users. So now you can uh, stream your Xbox One games directly to your PC running Windows 10, which is really amazing. I really love this feature, even though I'm PlayStation guy. PlayStation guy. There's also a settings panel, which is not the control panel, we have now a settings on Windows 10, you still have control panel, you have a weather app and lots of apps, 
which a smartphone and tablets have, which is really nice. I really wish that OS X had its own weather app or like stocks app, like the iPhone, but we'll see. Maybe, who knows, we'll see it on the next version of the operating system. Now, something which OS X miss is missing and Windows 10 like had the uh, had that from like since uh, Windows uh, 7 somewhere there is multi window like support. It's not actually multi window. It's like a multitasking that you can use four applications at the same screen, which is pretty amazing. So all you have to do is like drag your application uh, to one of the sides of the screen, and it becomes like uh, you can choose the applications you can you like you want on the other side of the screen, and you basically create. Uh, lots of windows in one um, uh, screen and you can work with four applications where on the Mac we're still waiting for OS 10 El Capitan this actually will bring that feature to the Mac so you can actually uh, use that in like two applications at once which is really nice Windows 7 had it if you have a Mac you can actually download some third-party applications right now to do to enable that kind of feature but yeah so now if you ask me what computer I'm running Windows 10 on, you won't believe me. It's running really smooth, but I'm running on a really old HP 620 laptop. That's like a 2010 computer. And you're wondering all the specs, we're working like an Intel Pentium, like Intel Mobile Graphics, I'm not sure for the graphics. Um, 3 gigabytes of RAM and 256 hard drive or something, or 500 hard drive, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna try to put them in the description. I was really surprised about Windows how smooth it runs on even on that old hardware. So overall, Windows 10 is really good. I really enjoy this. It's a really good uh, upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, you do miss a couple of features like the Windows Media Center. Who uses that? But anyway, that's a pretty a uh, nice upgrade. It's also free for Windows 7 and Windows 8 users. So anyway guys, make sure you subscribe for more tech videos on my YouTube channel. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, that will help me a lot. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. But anyway guys, uh, something which I forgot to mention is that uh, me and my friend Kyriakos, we have a new YouTube channel, this is called SK Productions. There we upload like uh, challenges and stuff like that uh, on that channel. So be sure you subscribe to that. We have a link in the description. I have a, I will provide a link in the description. Check his also his own YouTube channel. He actually does some gaming videos. He started actually the his YouTube channel right now. He does uh, some gaming videos and stuff like that, and maybe tech videos. I'm not sure. But anyway, oh my god, this camera. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, check that out and uh, peace.